What's up guys? Today we're back out here messing with the SRT4. Today we are actually going to be um, shaving down the pinch weld or the pinch joint inside of the front wheel wells. My name is Zach Ellis and welcome to my journey. I don't know where I'm going or how I'm going to get there, but I'm going to be tearing shit up every step of the way. Along with a few friends of course. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll be building, modifying, repairing, fabricating, and racing every chance I get. <laughs> but if you enjoy this content, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, and of course, enjoy the video. Today we have two things we gotta do. One thing is we gotta swap out the brake pads on the front end. Um, at the last event I went to, my brakes towards the end didn't feel as strong as they should. Uh, almost felt like brake fade, but I know it was just the pads. So we're gonna swap the pads out. And then the other thing, the bigger thing, is we have got to modify the pinch weld or the joint inside the wheel well. Let me show you real quick. So you can see this shiny portion right here behind my finger. Uh, that is where my tire made contact with that pinch weld there. You can see it was supposed to be covered by this plastic wheel liner. But with the ride height being so low with the coilovers at one point, uh, hard cornering, I could hear it making contact. So you might think, well, you raise it up and no longer make contact, life is all good. The issue is with racing, I want my center of gravity to be as low as possible. So I had to raise the ride height up so I didn't make that contact. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that joint out. I'll seam seal it or weld it. I'm not really sure which one I wanna do yet. And then uh, I may like uh, undercoat the wheel well. Um, but this way, once that's removed, I'll be able to lower the car back down, you know, another half inch or so, an inch even, uh, just to help lower that center of gravity. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pull the wheel liner out on both sides, and we will start, you know, looking at what has to be done at least, and then we'll uh, take the proper steps to get it modified. <laughs> So if you look up here, you see this little shiny spot right there. This is where it was rubbing. Um, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna cut from right here and just do a little arch up into this radius portion all the way back, I don't know, maybe 10 inches, something like that. Um, and then wherever I cut it, I'll probably just tack weld it again with my welder. I will paint it so it doesn't corrode anymore, and I think that's all I'm going to do. cool so you can see now I cut out that whole section I'm gonna go ahead get the flappy disc hood on put onto the grinder I'm gonna clean that up a little bit and then uh, we'll move on all right so we've got the welder over there it's running I got the whole section cut out it is ground now where I'm going to actually be welding um, I got the a little C clamp here there's two pieces there this whole edge here was uh, spot welded that I had just removed so since it was spot welded that's really the reason that I'm welding this back up is they need to be adhered together if I didn't weld it would it cause any issues no there's no chance really but makes me happy to do this so I've got the two joints pinched together in the back side the front sides all still sealed up 
So I'm just going to go along and every inch do a tack weld, go back to the beginning, and I'm going to do that from the front to the back until it's completely welded up. So, we got the whole joint tack welded now. Um, pretty straightforward. Just want to make sure that all the layers that were uh, spot welded before are squeezed together and then tacked. So, we've got it tacked all the way across. The only thing I got to do now is I'm going to grind it a little bit just to make it look a little bit better. And then um, I'll throw a quick primer on there and We'll button this whole side. Actually, I'll probably leave this side. I broke some of the little clips that clip everything in, so I'm going to go get some new ones of those, and then uh, then we'll button it up. But I'm going to go ahead and grind this, put a coat of primer on it, and we'll hop to the other side. side from start to finish in like I don't know 10 seconds or however long the time lapse was um, super straightforward cut out the piece that's rubbing weld it together prime it and that's pretty much it um, again I'm only welding it because I have the capability and it makes me feel better uh, if you don't have the uh, if you don't have a welder at your dispose you can always just seam seal it shut and it should be completely fine um, but got this finished i'm going to hop in my truck clark and i are going to head over to autozone or advanced auto or whatever's closest to get some new uh nut plates i need two new nut plates and then new little pop rivet things the little plastic clips and uh we'll head back over here and wrap this all up We officially got the passenger side completely reassembled. I trimmed up the plastic at the top where I cut out. Let you see that real quick. So there's now more clearance. Um, I feel like maybe I could have cleared a little bit more on the back side, but 
it is what it is. If I have to do it more later, I will, I guess. But like I said, all finish is primed up. I'm gonna go ahead and swap out the brake pads. I have these Power Stop Evolution Sport. So they're the Z23 formula. I don't know if they're any good. I've had these things since I bought the car. Um, and I need pads now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these on. I'm gonna race the next race with them. It's in a week from now, uh, roughly. So uh, I guess we'll see how they do. I have no clue.